Good day, gamers. Welcome once again to another Game Master Dave Plays, uh, where we're going to continue our Hearts of Iron campaign. Um, so actually, let me know if uh, the volume is all right with the music in the background. For some reason, it doesn't seem like it's, uh, it's right. So we're continuing as USA. I figured out last time we played, I got a little frustrated about... Uh, uh, um, oh, I forgot. Let's level up. What, what should we do? I need help. You need to tell me. Do we concentrate on Japan or Germany? I think uh, I think I was working on concentrating on Japan. And then the other question is: is do we concentrate on um, do we concentrate on uh, tanks, planes, or ships? And I think we decided to do planes and ships. Some of my things I'm least experienced with. Um, and I think also we needed to something here is really limiting all of our stuff, which is this. And I need 150 to go to civilian economy. Right. So right here is a uh, consumer goods factories is 55 percent. That goes down to 35 percent. So we get a lot more factories. Plus, we can get into um, we just get rid of a lot of minuses by going to civilian economy. Um, I think that's what we're doing. If we can, no, it says we can't. 150. Why cannot not go to civilian economy? Probably because one of my things is not letting me. War plans division is what we're working on right now, I believe. Or no, we're trying to go for one of these. This is our focus tree. There we go. We're trying to get this one. That's going to give us 150 political power, and then we can get this sign. Then we can get this research slot. That's what we're doing. Could not remember. All right, but I think also what we are also doing is setting up the ships. We have not set up our ships yet, and I, 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 I did learn a lot, which is great. Um, uh, since between the last time that we played last time. But the and also we got a lot of hits on YouTube. Thank you, everybody. Hey, give us a like, a subscribe, suggestion, comment. You can email me at Dave at GameMasterGames.com. And uh, we'd love to hear uh, uh, what you're thinking about, especially with Hearts of Iron. But apparently a lot of people were enjoying our content last time. Now, what Cancel refitting tasks. Okay. See, this is one of the problems that I have. I've run into just like always. Okay, wait. I think we made. I think we made a. Let's look here. I'm pretty sure we made a task force. Maybe we didn't. Yeah, there it is, right there. Why Ridge? Um, is that them? Two carriers. No, one carrier. Here it is. Holding position in Why Ridge. Uh, they need more light cruisers, right? I need to really concentrate on possibly building light cruisers. Let's see what... But we're just going to get scattered all over the place with our thought processes. So, um... Wait. This is what I wanted. Uh, how many of these things are light cruisers? Outdated. These are destroyers. Brooklyn class... Drop and drag the priority. Oh boy. Brooklyn class two. What are they? What what am I making here? These are bat these are like a thousand battleships. When did I choose those? Is, is that what they started out with? Good golly. Do we want that many battleships? Something happened. I don't think. Uh Oh, these are refitting. That's why. That's what that is. Okay. Got it. Well, we're going to need light cruisers. We need a modify officer core, so we could add some officers here. Uh, we could change a doctrine. Let's check out. Um, let's check out our naval doctrines. Um, do we have experience? I don't think we have experience. We would need doctrine costs. One hundred experience. So we. 
Those are our admirals, okay. Take a look at the admirals, but let's uh, see where else we... We're in WPA, so we're just going to go to that research line. And then, that's interesting, rubber, rubber research. We'll have to decide what we're going to do next after that. Uh, modify government. Okay, so now, now let's see if we can do that. Free trade. Undisturbed isolation. Can I do this? No, because uh, that says uh, cancel, remove. One of the following must be true. More than 50% war support at war or has completed limited intervention. Free trade, we could go to um, right now construction speed is 10, research 15. So that would lose our research. But a lot more resources would go to uh, would be used. I think we leave free trade alone. Darn it. All right. So what I would like to do, and I wish it would work, is I'd like to make a new template. See, this is open the task for compositor. And so, uh, hello. Do I know the Austria-Hungarian uh, Hungarian flag? Well, you don't. The flag is sued as a civilian flag. It was never used in combat, maybe in post What What is that all about? OK, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> no idea what uh, why we're talking about the Austria-Hungarian flag. Have you played Hearts of Iron before? Hearts of Iron 4 before. That's what I'd like to know. Um, Do, 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 do. Because of people think that the flag, because, you know, oh, cool, you're playing it now. Good. Well, thanks for the information. This is Gladman. Thank you for the information about the Austria Hungarian flag. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's see here. Um, hey, so maybe you can help me out then. Maybe you can help me. How do I get this task force editor working? Uh, okay, so. Do, 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 do. Where am I? Let's see. Oh, I see. Uh, enabling this will automatically reinforce task forces that lose ships from their set composition that can be fixed, like the pictures above, uh, from the reserve fleet. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it might be... Let me make this mute. Because I'm trying to... Each class of ship... You build a subclass with different icons, right? And so, right. I th so I sort of knew that, but you have you have. But <clears throat> what I was curious is. Um, oh, this is Wikipedia. Oh, you sent some sort of link for the thing about the flag. Well, thank you for that information, Black Man. So, all right back to the game as I was trying to uh, mess around that right so here so here we go so the carriers so it's only going to make a template with the carrier with that symbol right um, so if I have an only a battleship with this symbol it will draw right so I, ca I can assign when I'm making battleships. I can assign what the what the role of the battleship is. That's the, that's the way that I sort of see it, or what uh, what this thing, you know, this um, what do you, whatever this icon is, whatever you call. It. So light cruiser, destroyer. I want. I should be able to just type in here. Oh, I can do shift right. Shift click. 
Okay, and uh, and this one is um, shift click. Okay, so if I'm trying to make a task force here, and I can name this task force, so this is uh, you know uh, carrier or attack carrier, right? Maybe we do. Yes, I feel is either a bug or it is just a weak design in game, but it makes it almost sound like if you leave the type as a question mark. Try to exit the save and load up the save again. Can you leave this? See, I thought about just making everything the same. Because uh, I haven't gotten that much into different classifications of you know carriers, different carrier groups. Aw, oh, dang it, I just closed that. Um... What do you mean, uh, load up and save and save it again? So let's go back to, let's go back to here. No, this one is it. This is the one. So I'm trying to make a task force. Uh, oh, it saved it. Look at that. Uh, it didn't save all of it, though. Oh, it didn't save, it didn't save this part. Okay, because I didn't hit the save button right here. That's okay. Well, I don't want to load the save again. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't even have it set up properly to begin with. Um, okay, now let's save this one. Okay, so I've got this one template saved. Now, there's the question: How do I? Uh, okay, so I press OK, right? So. There it goes. It's it's made me a template. But how do I go, or it's made me a an organization with zero light cruisers, because I don't have any in stock. And um, so does it, did it make that task force? Let's see. Oh, yeah, look, there. Hmm. Oops. Send them up there. Let's see how this works out. Uh, so now all of these guys are down here with all of this symbol. So it works, but the problem is that once the ship has been produced, I see no easy way of finding its icon. You can deduce it from the type of ship or name, but displaying the icon would be a good thing. Right. Uh, well, is this 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 has got to be the ship icon over here? I guess. Not too sure. Okay, so now is this my wing? Yeah, it looks like it. Right, but then if I if I check out the other carriers in this group, the other carriers now have this symbol. So how do I? I mean, I agree with you that trying to figure that out is not that easy. Uh, but if you see default to shields for screening ships, guns for gun capital ships, planes for carrier capital ships, and skulls for submarines. Right. I could see I could see doing that. You know, I've played this game a ton, and I've never ever been able to figure out this stupid task force composite thing. I've spent I've spent an hour making all my task forces, and then you know it's just like a total waste. Oh, I can modify government. Let's see. Um, let's go to industry. Uh, industrial research, synthetic research, electronics research. Uh, is that more important, or is or is this something here more important? Volunteer only. Yeah, let's, let's skip that right now. Yeah, I never. I've been trying to figure out the Navy, and now I'm playing USA, and it's it it, it, it it's gotten crazy because um, uh, I I've decided I've decided that um. You know, I actually, I'm not a Navy guy. I'm actually an Army veteran. So, um, but I've decided that uh, in this campaign, I'm going to be trying to uh, focus more on Japan. So I've got to definitely be more Navy, more Navy here. Okay, so these guys are docked in Virginia, and let's let's bring them all over here. Bing, why won't you come over to 
California. Uh, docked in California. Okay. Well, that's curious. <laughs> uh, oh, because I'm because I'm doing that. Where are these guys? Okay, they don't want to move that one. Okay, this is the guy I just moved. I'm from the East Coast, New York, near New York. So. All right, so this is why I got, I'm getting totally confused here. Okay, so those guys are there. So let's move these subs up here. Oops, I'm trying to play another game. I'm playing six different games on stream. What, uh, what's your favorite game? And do you stream? Okay, because that's my total. That's what that is. Okay, and these are my reserves. And this is the 71 group. And they are in Virginia. They just have a ton of subs and everything else. So let's send them. There we go. Last screw bit up. Okay. This is a destroyer I just built. Let's separate all of the submarines off of this puppy. Uh, at least we got all the one submarine. Okay. So, um, it's been a while since I played. Not the task force editor. I'm going to create a new task force, which I think I just did with 10 submarines. Fantastic. And let's send all these submarines here. No, that's not what I wanted. Um,. Did this one. That's not what I want. Oh, hello. Hello, electronics. Hello. Oh, what do I got going on here? You can take several decisions. Let's, uh, uh, okay, so basic radio. Uh, we want uh, research speed. That's the one we want. Now. Um, modify officer core. Insufficient resources. So, yeah, so I love Hearts of Iron 4. It's just every time that I get a chance to uh, Battlefield 1 or Hearts of Iron 4 are some of your favorites or a good sports game, and any sports game I can play, done. <laughs> well, uh, for sports games, the only game that I play is um, the only game that I enjoy playing a lot is uh, Out of the Park Baseball. So, let's see. They're there. Um, let's see if these guys have submarines I want to separate out. They do. Create a new tax task force. So they have a, like a ton of submarines. Let's see what we got here. And I think that they were all destroyers, so let's send them over here. And uh, what were these guys doing? These are my not necessarily my reserves. These are my reserves. So let's see. Okay. No, that's not what I want. No, that's not what I want. There we go. Uh, new task force. Send them all here. Just trying to consolidate all the... Uh, uh, so I did not participate. I did not fight in combat, but I spent... Uh, eight years in the National Guard and three years in the regular army, and I was stationed most of my time in South Korea. So that was uh, a crazy event, crazy time down there. So there are lots of people to be killed. These are all light cruisers? No. Yeah, they're all the light cruisers. Nice. All right, so, um, all right, so I semi got this. All those guys are detached. Yikers. All right. So actually, let me check uh, naval stuff. We are actually only making Marines right now, but that is because we do not have a lot of stuff to make. Uh, I did uh, New York National Guard. So South Malaya? No, I wasn't in South Malaya. I went to, uh, I was in South Korea. 
Korea. That's uh, I was stationed at Camp Camp Dongjushong or Camp Casey, just south of the DMZ for for quite some time. Okay, so I got a timeout decision to turn. Um, second naval thing. So let's 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 pause it just for a second, just to read this. Second. London Naval Conference. In order to limit expenditures and avoid another mutually ruinous naval arms race, the great naval powers of the world have signed a number of treaties limiting the overall size of their fleets and the size of each individual ship. The signatory of these treaties were subject to certain restrictions. Interesting. Interesting. Why would we want why why would we want to keep that? Let's see. What does it do for us? It doesn't tell me. <laughs> we are currently between ninety and one hundred percent of Britain in capital ship strength. Okay. I could get out of it. Uh, I'm over 50. So, not no, I wasn't in the Korean War. I was just stationed in Korea. We still have U.S. troops still stationed in Korea since the Korean War. Pretty crazy. Uh, so, this is remove London Naval Treaty Signatory, which grants carrier max cost 9,500. Okay, so there's some limits to the size of stuff I can make. But I guess if I pull out of that, then, like, um, other stuff will other stuff will happen. Probably Japan doesn't have to abide by anything. Uh, weak to stability. Why would I want to pull out of that? So let's see if we can change. Uh, yeah, is, is it of no use? Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks for that input. See, I thought about modifying the government, doing this, right? But I can't do it because uh, I've got, I haven't, Completed focus limited um, limited intervention. So where the heck is limited intervention? Limited. There it is. Is that it? No. There's limited intervention. Okay. So uh, I went this way. I went WPA to get the to get this thing. Limited intervention requires the support of at least 58 centers. Ouch! I can't even get it right now. Passing this law will make it significantly. Well, there you go. Japan just left the treaty we were just talking about. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, glad, man. Hey, I'm super happy that you joined us. Thanks for stepping in. Give us a like, a follow, suggestion, comment, question, whatever you want. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, but I am going to stop playing. I usually stream here around 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the United States, uh, and usually just for under an hour. But I try to stream uh, two to four times a week. So maybe we'll see you back. I don't always stream Hearts of Iron, but I'm glad you joined us for Hearts of Iron. I, I also streamed recently some Dwarf Fortress and some... Some... Sid Meier's... Uh, yes, my favorite. Which one is your favorite? American Siberia? What's, what is that one? Is that a game? Uh, if you ha wanted to see me stream something else, what would be your choice? That would be uh, super cool. Let me know. Yay, agency upgraded. Cool, I stole some. I'm stealing blueprints. I really don't know what is good. I guess passive defense can't be bad. Um, limited training centers, commando training. Uh, decryption is probably, probably got to be pretty good. Uh, yes, I got a YouTube channel too. Uh, it's uh, at Game Master Dave. There should be a link on the Twitch, I think. So I have more uh, Hearts of Iron stuff on there too. Battlefield 1 or maybe... Oh, I love Europa Universalis 4. It's not, I, actually, I like, I like Europa Universalis 4. Um, I prefer Hearts of Iron and Stellaris, the other Paradox Plaza games, over EU4. But I do play EU, EU4. I have not played Company of Heroes or Battlefield 1. So thank you for the suggestion. I am going to sign off now, though, and uh, maybe we'll see you again. Glad, man. Really appreciate it. And I hope you have a good night. And until we meet again, uh, I'm sorry, give yourself 100 experience points. And until we meet again across the internet, keep your mice dry, your keyboards ready, and your hearts of iron strong. We need strong hearts of iron to play this game because it's a game that we play <laughs> thanks man
talk to you later. Hope everything's going well. Peace be to you, brother.